realized I wanted to start Vanilla Feeds tomorrow uh, during early quarantine. I was watching the news and I was coming into the kitchen to make vanilla brownies during a commercial break. And as I poured the vanilla extract, it hit me that I could sell vanilla extract and donate the profits to help those in need. 100% of my profits go back to Second Harvest Food Bank in East Tennessee. It's very rare that you would ever find someone at his age to come around and want to do so much for so many people who are at risk of hunger. He ordered several hundred bottles at first, and I thought, well, great. We will be buying vanilla for gifts till Jesus comes. Never could we have imagined that so many people would support William and really his mission behind this. This vanilla, the fact that it's feeding, you know, hundreds of people and hundreds of families, I would much rather make a purchase of anything that's gonna help others. Each bottle provides 42 meals for each purchase and it really just shows how wonderful Second Harvest is because they're able to turn the slightest monetary donation into vast quantities of meals. I never could have even hoped for the response. The number of people that have sent him encouraging emails, there's so much good in the world. And so it's been, to watch people pour into my child means so much to me. Please welcome the founder of Vanilla Feeds Tomorrow, William Cabanis. William, so glad to have you here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. Well, you know, you are our Hux hero tonight because we are so impressed with what you've done. You're a teenager and decided that you could do something to help feed hungry people in East Tennessee where you live. How did the idea of putting together vanilla extract, I mean, that, that's a clever thought. So me and my family make a lot of brownies. Yeah. Um, if we're going to- Did you bring party, me some? Well, we you could. You could be a Hux hero in a big way if you'd have done that. I'm telling you right now, but that's okay. I mean, if, okay. You, want, if you want to come for dinner, we can make you some. Okay, that sounds good. I may show up. So you're making brownies. Yeah, so during the quarantine, back when hunger first really started taking a hold of America, yeah. when food lines at food pantries were surging, breaking all records, and I was watching the news and three main things stuck with me. How no one should even be hungry in the first place. Mm. You shouldn't have to wait that long to maybe not even get food that you need to survive. And all the major organizations that sponsor these events, they're having trouble keeping up with the large demand and they need monetary donations to keep up with it, to give food to people that need it and to get the food in the first place. Mm. And all that just stuck with me and I'm just trying to help. Well, it's a beautiful thing. And you decided, okay, if, if we can make vanilla extract at your family and sell it, and the proceeds would go to help feed hungry people. I and mean, a lot of people have thought of that and said, I'll keep the proceeds for myself. It's pretty unselfish for you as a young man to want to help hungry people more than you wanted to get a new car or something for yourself. That, that's a motivation that I hope you can share. What is it about William that makes you more concerned about other people's needs than your own? So I grew up in a small town in Tennessee where I was fortunate to be able to go home and have food, but there are many kids in my class that didn't have that luxury and it really did bother me. Mm. And it bothered me that they were dependent upon school lunch, school breakfast and backpack programs. Yeah. Now, do you know what a backpack program is? Yep, my church does it, yeah. Yeah, and it's so it's amazing thing. how they're able to give food to, in kids' backpacks that they can take home on the weekends and it gives them food that doesn't cost them, their families, or the school. And it does it just so discreetly that they fit in better socially and it still gives them the food they need. So each bottle of vanilla extract, and this is like pure vanilla extract, not an imitation, which a lot of people, maybe that's all they know. Real vanilla extract is really better when you bake and cook things. So you make the real deal. Um, how much does a bottle cost and how many people will that feed from the profit? So every bottle costs $30 and all the profits either are reinvested to help make more vanilla yeah. or they go to Second Harvest Food Bank of East Tennessee. And each bottle you buy provides 42 meals for East Tennessee residents. Each box, Tennessee. 42 meals. Yes. Wow. So if somebody's out there and say, what are we gonna do for Christmas? If people buy the vanilla and give it to their friends and family, which everybody is gonna use it if they cook and bake things, Every time they buy a bottle of the vanilla extract that you make, they're gonna feed 42 people. 
Yeah, they provide 42 meals, and it's really amazing. And actually, earlier this morning, I was able to provide $45,000 wow. to Second Harvest Two Bank of East Tennessee, and they turned that into over 135,000 meals. I think that's why you were the Hux hero tonight. <laughs> William Cabanis, amazing. Hey, to purchase your very own bottle of vanilla, go to vanillafeedstomorrow.com. It will make a great Christmas gift and help a lot of people. You can also follow Vanilla Feeds tomorrow on Facebook and Instagram.